I thought Antonio was desperately unlucky not to be involved in the England squad before the Euros. He had a brilliant 2016. Um, I see him play many times. He's a, he's a powerful, strong boy, can get up and down, got a wonderful engine on him. And in the final third, has got a goal in him. Now, they've been playing him at right back, which is a travesty, really. Bilic has to find a place for him further forward if you're going to get the best out of him. And he played right back, and he's not a right back. He's simply not. He doesn't have that defensive... He doesn't have the defensive now, or intelligence once he gets in that final third as a fullback. The, the, the penalty conceded against Chelsea tells you all you need to know about his defensive knowledge. He hasn't got any. So playing further forward, I think that the reason Sam has got him in that squad is that you need, you, the player 4 through 3 you need wide men. And England aren't blessed with that many. You've got Townsend, you've got Sterling, you've got Lalana. Outside of that, there's not a lot of other choice. So... Sterling, despite the fact he's had a great start of the season, still has a bit to go in his in an England shirt. But you look at what he's got, Antonio. Got a great engine, I said. Powerful boy, really strong. And he's got a goal in him. So I think, it, I like him in the squad. I think he's deserved his opportunity. And let's hope at some stage over the coming games, maybe against Malta, he gets that chance.